Pokemon is coming to the real world, and Plague Knight is, well, real. It's September 10th, and here's the news that made the cut for the Daily Glitch. You heard that right. Pokemon is coming to the real world. Sort of. In a partnership with Nantic Inc., the creators of the widely popular mobile AR game Ingress, the Pokemon company announced its new mobile venture with Pokemon Go. Players can roam the real world with their smartphones, discovering and capturing Pokemon in the wild, trading and battling with other Pokemon Go players, and even participating in area-wide group events. Nantic has been working on this game with Nintendo for the last few years, but this mobile move should not come as any surprise. Nintendo, and especially Pokemon, have been toying with the idea of of mobile gaming and free-to-play models for the last year with Pokemon Shuffle recently making the move to iOS and Android. Pokemon Go will also feature a unique Pokeball-themed accessory that can connect via Bluetooth to a smartphone to enable access to notifications and actions without having to stare down at a phone the entire time. No further details were given outside of the loose promises and impressions from the trailer, but if Nantic's track record with Ingress and a whole generation's infatuation with the Pokemon franchise is worth anything, Pokemon Go could shape up to bring all of our dreams to reality. In other news, the long-awaited Plague Knight DLC for Shovel Knight is coming September 17th to all platforms. Plague Knight was originally promised during the initial crowdfunding campaign for Shovel Knight as a stretch goal, and finally, after two years of waiting, fans will be able to play the bomb-jumping boss knight. The DLC will be playable after completing the main game, and will feature new objectives, enemies, paths, and stories to match the death-dealing knight. Of course, if you've already beaten Shovel Knight and have switched platforms, Yacht Club Games will be providing special access codes, so you can jump right into the action immediately. That's it for today. Do you think Pokemon Go will be a success, or just another free-to-play flop? Let us know in the comments, and if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, at GlitchFeed, and check out the weekly GlitchFeed podcast right here on YouTube.